Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Game Hunter. Another episode of Locked Terrace Lager Out 2. And we have a new slug in the game Enigma. How can you get an Enigma? Super easy, guys. Let's go to the store and open a couple of these gold chests. In one of these gold chests, we should be able to get an Enigma. <laughs> I'm crossing fingers. I know we're missing Smither, uh, Flatular Hinkus, if I'm not wrong. Uh, who else we missing? I know we're missing like a probably Ramstone too. Hey, we got Boobalion! Okay, so we need to open a couple more of these gold chests in order to get access to this new slug in the game Enigma. Gold chest number two. And let's see what we get in. We're getting some gems, we're getting some gold attack net, uh, lava links, Boobalion. And we have Enigmo! Here we go, Enigmo, one of my favorite slugs in the game and also in the TV series. He looks so crazy, and I remember Slug Terror Slug Out 1, he was probably one of my favorite ones. Why? Because it was marching tiles automatically. It was so, so crazy, shooting blasters like nuts. So let's see what is new with Enigmo, right? In Slug Terror Slug Out 2, where is Enigmo? Uh, no, that's Bubble Leon. Uh, we should be able to find Enigmo here. Let's see. Enigma, Enigma, Enigma. There you are. Three stars. Uh, let's see, buddy. All right. Enigma uses its cell strike ability to quickly charge your slug's energy while it flies. Hold on a second. It sounds like a charger. It looks exactly like Fandango. Am I right or wrong? All right, let's take a look to Fandango. All right, where is Fandango? It's over here. Uh, okay, Fandango, hold, hold on a second. I know where you are. I just can't catch you yet. All right, here we go. Fetch a natural slug energy. Fandango charges all the player slugs at its flight. All the player slugs. An Enigma. Let's see. Enigma, Enigma, Enigma. It was only one? No, I don't think so. All right, we got an Enigma. That's the ability to quickly charge your slug's energy while it's flying. Hmm. Okay, it's really similar, okay? So let's get a couple of candies or some slug food in order to upgrade Enigma up to level 10 before going to a couple bottle with this new slug in Slug Terra. Slug it out too. All right, Enigma, let's go to level two, level three, level four, five, six, seven. Hmm. All right, let's get three more levels before going to the first battle. Okay, I think we have enough. Let's go to level 8, level 9, and level 10. Here we go. Where are you, Nygmo? Can we pop up? And I'm wondering, how cool is it going to be if, if we mix Fandango with Enigma? With some other chargers. Let's see. We have uh, Thuglet. Thuglet is uh, level uh, 10. Okay, let's get Thuglet in here. We can also bring... Um, Tenasher, why not? Tenasher, and finally, we should get a Fandango. Where is Fandango? Fandango, 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 where are you? Dude, where, where's Fandango? Uh, we, we, uh. <laughs> Dude, you're hiding right there. Behind that, uh, the jumping table, let's go. There you go, get in there. Okay, so we're going with the Charger team. Fandango, Tenasher, Toglet, and also Thuglet, I'm sorry, and also Enigma. I'm surprised. Uh, I think we're missing that part from Slug Terrace Live Out 1, right? Where Enigma used to be so powerful, matching tiles and shooting blaster. Well, let's see what you can do, my friend, in our first battle in Slug Terrace Live Out 2 with Enigma. Battle number one. Here we go. Let's go to a duo. Let's see Eli can do something against uh, Brock. Okay, actually, Brock is more powerful than me, so. Uh, how about we are careful? All right, so we got an Igbo right here and um, looking so similar to Aqua Big. It's not even funny. And um, we can definitely put Thuglet in the middle. Um, I don't want to send anybody for now. Uh, Enigma was only the other one? No, 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 no. I'm confused. I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused, guys. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That is exactly what happened when you haven't played this game in a couple of days. Um, Somebody's draining me or what? I got I gotta, I gotta a bad feeling about it. I definitely got a bad feeling about this. Okay, we got Enigma. We got a Fandango almost ready. Fandango is almost ready to go. Fandango, you can go now. And if it's necessary, we can send Enigma. In a few more seconds. Come on, Enigma. We're so close to get you to level uh, three. Right there, Enigma. There you go. Okay, our first Enigma in the game. Oh, wow. That's 
tons of damage. 500 and something? What? That was kind of ridiculous. Okay, so if we keep doing this attack with chargers, well, uh, I gotta tell you, fellas, my opponent is not gonna stand a chance. We can just go with everything. Thought was gonna drain the opponent. We also got a Fandango ready. We can send Enigma when it's necessary. I just wanna see what is uh, the difference between Enigma and Fandango. We're gonna pay attention to that in a few more seconds. Let's see if we can finish our first battle before jumping into that. Uh, I would love to finish this also with Enigma if it's possible. We can send Tenisher now. Tenisher, go and take care of business. Let me see the damage that Tenisher is doing. 476, not too bad. And Enigma, it's doing. Let's see. 275. Oh, it wasn't critical. Ah, that's why. I was wondering why the damage of Enigma was so crazy. Eh, because of that, of course. It's not doing critical damage. And it's only doing 275 damage. Okay, so let's take a look now. Let's pay attention to what is happening between Enigma and Fandango. Let's go and review one more time the stats between Fandango and Enigma at level 10. We had health at 279.1. Damage 136.5 and critical hit chance of 8. And now we also have Fandango 275.2 and critical chance of 8. Okay, so there is a um, differential in terms of damage. And I think Enigma is much better. Is it probably because it's a 3 star slugs against a 1 star slug that is Fandango? Maybe yes, maybe no. Well, let's go to the next one. Now we're going to pay attention to... When is charging the the George locks? I don't know. Uh, well, both are are charging when he's flying. Let's see how fast one is gonna charge compared with the other. Okay, let's get it. Let's get this pyro. Oh boy, this is a boss battle. I was wondering what's happening in here. Why am I getting confused? Okay, we got it. We got a Nikmo in a few more seconds. We got a. Let's really got Fandango. Uh, Negashe, can you can, can you stop bothering me? Okay, we can send Tenasher. Perfect. The perfect charger Tenasher. We got now Negashe in here. Perfect. Negashe is not a problem. Uh, let's wait for uh, ooh, another Negashe. Wow, this is annoying. And another one? No, that's not. No, that's a... Uh, ooh, plastic bit. Okay, so it's charging when it's flying. Yeah, it char it's charging when it's flying. Uh, let's see what his Nygma has to say about it. Oh, all right. They're similar. They're really similar. Until now, the damage is going uh, towards uh, our friend Enigma instead of a. Uh, uh, hold on a second. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. You can probably put it right there. There you go. Perfect. We can send a Fandango. Fandango is charging all this log when he's flying. Perfect. And then we can send Enigma. Enigma is charging. All this luck when he's flying. Okay, the, the power is exactly the same. We're gonna compare the, the charging power after this. Okay, as soon as we finish this battle, we're gonna compare who is charging the most. Until now, we know that the da in damage, Enigma, it's much better. Oh, that's Duvalium. Dude, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. We got also some more. Uh, the Fandango. Enigma is almost ready. This is the advantage of using all the chargers. It's so, so, so useful. We can get all the slugs ready to go all the time. Let's get Thuglet. Thuglet's gonna drain the opponent. Here comes Negashade again. Negashade cancel it. C -c 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 Combo breaker to Tenisher. Uh, thanks to Tenisher, we can send a. Um, well, we can send this. Hold on a second. I'm trying to think of a little bit. Okay, well, now we can send Nikmo. So now it's charging, supercharging, mega charging. Same Fandango. This is just crazy, guys. This is probably the most. Awesome and OP combination in the game. I cannot stop charging my slug, guys. I cannot start charging the slugs. Here we go. Now we got Thugla level 3. Thugla is ready to go. We should be able to finish this in a few more seconds. This is amazing. And Nick, well, you know what? Let's compare the, the charging power. Hey, that's a good idea. Let's check the... Check the one, two, three. Let's check the charging power between Enigma and Fandango. Fandango has an energy charge of 2.0 and Enigma energy charge 2.3. So that's the big difference. We got damage and also we got energy charge. The health is 593 compared against uh, 279. Well, there is no question about it. The best charger between Fandango 
and Enigma is this new slug in his slug terrace like it out to Enigma. Fellas, this is the Game Hunter. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Mm.